Good day team, I just wanted to make a video and show you some true stuff. There's a lot of people publishing a lot of videos at the moment while cryptocurrency is on a big high and while Bitcoin has exceeded its all time high from three years ago. And you will see on YouTube a lot of guys standing in front of someone else's Ferrari or showing you screenshots of the million percent gains that they've made, allegedly which could have been copied from anywhere or could have been faked. So I just wanted to show an authentic video and you can see some live trades that I'm actually in right now. You can see this is my account. You can see my email address. You can even see my account balance. So if anybody wants to try and scam me, forget about it. Um, because I don't click on links that people send me in my email. I only go to my account as it is. And I only have a couple of hundred bucks that I keep on the exchange at any one time. Anytime I make more than a thousand dollars, I'm going to take that off and hide it in some wallet where you'll never find it. So skip that stuff. This is real. This is authentic. And this is open book stuff. So we're looking at Bitcoin here. This is the one day chart, which shows it has been on a nice rise. There's a bit of a dip there. If we go back to a four hour, um, see there was a big drop there the other day. And then it hit a double bottom, which shows that it wasn't going to go any lower. There was a fair bit of resistance there. It started to pick up, trapped sideways for a while. It went down and uh, got some new support there. And that's where I actually jumped in on this trade. So if I zoom in a little bit, you can see the green line is where I actually entered into the trade, uh, right about there. Uh, this is where I put my stop loss. So if it went down any lower, then where it's there where it had its previous support I was going to automatically jump out of that and I've actually put my take profit up here at around about the 11% mark so the interesting thing is um, you know where I've where I've entered uh, right here on this green line and where the market is now within 24 hours it's only picked up a little bit it's only picked up a little bit you can see right there but because I'm trading on 10 times leverage, I've actually made almost 34%. So it's about a 3% move in the market. And I've made 34% because I'm trading on 10 times leverage. Obviously, there is some risk involved in that, which is why I have the stock market trigger here. And um, I haven't checked this trade at all. I, I put it on yesterday morning. I didn't check it at all yesterday afternoon or last night. Didn't check it this morning. Just checking it now 24 hours later because once it's set up, you can set it, forget it. Uh, now the market has moved up to where I think it's going to go. I can actually just click and drag and move my stop loss up to exactly where I entered. So right now, if I jumped out, I would keep 33% on my money. Um, if I let it run up to there, I'll make 110% of my money. It could go further than that, but I'm quite happy to jump out with 110% within a couple of days. But as it is right now, I've moved that stop loss up. So even if the market goes down, um, it'll cash me out at exactly the same point that I got in. So I won't lose any money whatsoever. And even if I want to be super, super cautious, I can move that up a little bit further and say, OK, even if I even if the market moved down now, I'll actually still make a profit. That'll still be, you know, one or two percent ahead of where I started. So that's just a trade on Bitcoin. Um, jump across here to Cardano. I've drawn a lot of squiggles on this one. Um, and again, you can see where I got in yesterday morning where I saw that bottom, bottom, bottom. And I thought it was going to pick up. So it has picked up now. And again, it's picked up about 3%, but because I'm on 10 times leverage, I've made 36% already. Uh, I am in a position now, 24 hours later, where I can move that stop loss up. So now, even if the trade goes bad, it's impossible for me to lose money. As soon as that starts to go down, it'll jump out automatically there. And if that continues to go up uh, to where the previous peak was a few days ago, then it'll sell out automatically and I'll make 15% on 10 times leverage or 150% of what I put into that trade. So uh, Bitcoin Cash, what's going on there? Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, so I've jumped in there. The market has basically done nothing. It's just moved sideways, moved sideways, moved sideways. Um, I was guessing it's going to go up, but it hasn't actually gone up yet. 
Um, it's down by slightly less than 1%, but again, because I'm on 10 times leverage, I'm actually down 8% on there. But as you can see, like I've got two trades that are working where I've made you know, 30, 34%, one trade that's not working where I've lost 8%, so I'm still way in front if I get two ones that, that go well and one that doesn't go well. Um, and if this trade goes south, if that drops from that support line where it's showing there, then I'm only going to lose a couple of dollars because it's going to get down to this stop trigger and uh, it's going to drop down there and bing, there you go, I'll lose, I'll lose 8% on that. Um, but if, obviously if it goes up, then I'm going to make some more money. Um, Binance, yeah, similar story there. It got to a little issue of support. I got in there. Uh, I got my stock market trigger in place. And oh, it actually hasn't triggered yet. So I've set up that trade yesterday, um, watching this market, thinking it's going to go down slightly and then pick up. Um, but it's actually started to pick up before it went down. So I thought it was going to go down a little bit further. So my buy entry hasn't triggered. So I haven't actually bought into that one yet. So there's no risk, no return at the moment. There is a possibility that that's going to go down a little bit further today and then bounce back up, in which case it'll automatically buy at that level and it'll automatically sell if it goes too low. So I'm going to leave that one sit there and see what happens. Worst case scenario, I'm going to lose a couple of dollars on that. Best case scenario, it's going to start picking up and it could go up to that previous high point, uh, which is a gain of 21% um, on 10 times leverage. That's obviously going to be 200%, which is quite nice. I think that's going to play out. Polkadot, um, not in any trades there, no open positions, just watching that one and charting it. Um, EOS, I've noticed that market is taking a lot longer to settle my buys and sells, so I'm sort of avoiding that one at the moment. Ethereum, this is another one I bought into yesterday morning, so you can see the green line here is where I bought in uh, at that level of support and it dropped down and then stabilised and I put my stock market trigger. So if it went down any further I was going to jump out, but as it is it's picked up around about 3% from where I went in. Um, so just a little bit there, so that means I've made 38% on that one and I was planning on jumping out at 14 because obviously it was a previous peak from earlier. Um, so that'd be 140% on there. Chainlink, um, I'm in a position there. And again, I haven't checked that in 24 hours. So it's not like you need to be checking this every hour on the hour when you're day trading. Um, I put in the entry point where I thought, okay, it's gone up. It's gone down, it's gone up, it's gone down, and I think it's stabilizing around there, and then it's going to go up again. So that was my guess. I put on the trade yesterday morning, I put in the stop trigger just in case it went down, and I put in a take profit at 11% because I thought that was where it's going to be back to the previous peak. I don't want to leave that run and see if I can make 347% because if the market doesn't go that high, if it goes up to that peak and then drops down, then I miss out. So I'd rather take the gain, have that 11% profit on the table. At 10 times leverage, that's going to be 110%. And as of right now, it's moved less than 2%, and I've still made a 20% profit, even if I jump out right now. So Litecoin, I'm not in that trade, just watching that one. Tron, um, not liking that one. It's taking a long time to settle the trade. It's very illiquid at the moment. Ripple's had a very nice run because they have the um, Spark token, which is the giveaway. Anybody who's holding Ripple up to and including the 12th of December is going to be given some more tokens. And so Ripple has been very choppy. It's been up, it's been down, it's stabilised for a while, flattened out, went up, flattened out, came down again. And so it's just started again. And this is a trade I got into yesterday when it started to stabilise. Again, put in the stock market um, just a couple of percent below and looking to reclaim that previous peak if it goes up to there and then make 17% on 10% leverage that's obviously 170% as of right now within the last 24 hours I've made almost 25-26% which is wonderful on 10 times leverage. You can go up to 50 times, you can even go up to 100 times leverage on, um, on different platforms but um, I'm just trying to show you what's possible for those people who wish to learn how to day trade 
and you, know, you can make returns of 20%, 50%, 100% in a year if you buy and hold a particular coin, or you can make returns of 25, 50%, 100% in a day if you learn to trade. Make sure you learn to trade from someone who's got a few years experience, not from someone who just became an internet celebrity yesterday, and make sure you learn from somebody authentic. So take care out there, be good, and trust people who are authentic, just as you will be authentic with others. You can find out more at our not-for-profit organisation, Krillionaire.com, or if you want someone to do it for you, head over to bostontrading.co. Cheers.